the Joe Rogan experience. What is your perspective on the Big Bang? Do you, do, do, there's a lot of people's views vary depending upon like what what the most recent theories are. And yeah. What, but some people believe that the universe started with the Big Bang, and some people believe that it's always existed, and there's it's a continuing cycle of Big Bangs, endless expansion, and then ultimately contraction, and then it starts all over again. Yeah. And that there's infinite numbers of Big Bangs that are occurring through multiverses and right. various universes all over the world, or I, all over the the, the, the the cosmos. Right. So I'm reading this book right now called The End of Everything by a friend of mine, Katie Mack, wrote it. It's about the end of the universe, and it's mm. really cool. It talks about exactly what you're saying. So there was a Big Bang. You can see it, actually, in the cosmic background radiation. There's this microwave anisotropy. It's like everything's not uniform. And you can see that it's like two or three degrees Kelvin. It's really cold. So the question is, does it, does it explode? And then does it shrink the big crunch? You know, does it come back? And mm -hmm. um, they think there's a stuff called dark energy. So does it continue expanding? And she calls it heat decay or this other one's the big rip where it just keeps on expanding, accelerating. And like even electrons can, everything just disintegrates into nothing. Um, and no one knows what's going to happen. But the really cool thing, I was just reading the chapter about as it expands super fast, um, I forgot the name of it, it, Boltzmann's brain or something. There's some weird thing where because of quantum physics, which is completely not understandable, if you say you understand quantum mechanics, you don't, um, things can just randomly appear. So if, you're, if the universe is going to be around for trillions of years, like in theory, at some point, two trillion years from now, Joe Rogan could just suddenly create itself out of nothing in the universe. And you'd like look around and go, wow, what's going on? And then you disappear instantly because of quantum mechanics. So it's, it's a Wait, really, what? Yeah. It's a, explain it, that again. So the, the theory is you could have an entire universe just because of quantum mechanics, which is uh, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, right? You don't, you can't know position and velocity. You can only know one or the other. And, an extension of that again man i'm just a fighter pilot i'm not a physicist but you can things can just suddenly appear somewhere and so given enough time it, even though it's highly unlikely this water bottle could create itself out of nothing just because of physics quantum mechanics i remember my uh, teacher at the air force academy would use the example of all of the electrons and protons and stuff could suddenly move themselves and you could just fall through the floor now, the odds of that happening, it ain't going to happen in, for a trillion years. But these weird things can happen. And so she she uses this kind of cheeky, funny example of, you know, your brain could just suddenly create itself out of nothing. And given enough time, the probability would, would be that. So some people say the whole universe is just this temporary thing that created itself. But I don't know. It's very disconcerting when you hear them talk about quantum mechanics. That is, you know what? I figured relativity out. Going, <clears throat> yeah. Wait, you start going, wait, what? Exactly. Two things can exist simultaneously in different places. Yeah. And one of them could be in motion. The other one could be still and they're the same thing. Yeah. And they appear and disappear and yeah. what? And now there's quantum computers. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Do you understand that? No. Oh, so I don't think, did. no. <laughs> I I spoke at a conference and, and, and I followed the quantum computing guy. So, um it's cool stuff, right? You know, right? I've had guys like Sean Carroll try to explain it to me on the podcast, yeah. and it just goes in one of my chimp ears and out the <laughs> other. <laughs> just... it, you and me both, man. I'm like I said, I'm a fight. I love it. It's cool yeah. to learn about it, but um, it it does make things seem a lot more mystical than um just the standard sort of Newtonian physics yeah. perspective of life and gravity and matter and yeah carbon-based life forms when you when you start getting into just listening to what they're talking about when they're talking about quantum weirdness and entanglements yeah. and yeah. things in superposition you're like wait, wait what is the world made of right like when you get down to the smallest possible measurement of life this the smallest things that you can measure the world becomes magic yeah on the smallest scale and also on the biggest scale right know. Well, that's the weirdest part about yeah. the universe is that I'm inclined, especially as I get older and I think about things more, to think that everything is kind of fractal. And mm -hmm. what the universe is probably 
is it's probably a part of some other organism, mm -hmm. some immense organism that's in a, nor a universe that's impossible for us to comprehend right. the vastness of it. When you know, there was a thing they just did recently where they mapped out uh, the human. Uh, they, were, they were talking about human brain cells and the universe, and they were talking about the way the universe functions and that the universe functions the way it looks. Like if you do a scan of the universe, right. like it looks far too similar right. to a human brain cell. This is a talk I want to do, Joe. So I saw these patterns from space. There's this one picture of a river in Indonesia I took. It, it looks like arteries, like all these blood vessels coming out. And I remember thinking, there's all these patterns that repeat. The seashells, there's these spiral elliptical seashells. And then there's hur Fibonacci hurricanes. Sequence. Yeah. And then there's galaxies, yeah. And these these patterns repeat from the microscopic to the macroscopic. It's really cool. It's amazing, yeah. yeah. And I don't understand them all, but they in images they they're really cool. Have you ever seen videos on fractals where they show you things like the Mandelbrot set and how the the, the cl closer you get to these fractals, the same sort of pattern repeats itself over and over and over again and. When people, it's one thing to comprehend it if someone's explaining it to you in a lecture, but it's another thing now with the advent of CGI technology, you right. could see these fractals be repeated over and over and over again. Right. And <clears throat> the Mandelbrot set is a particularly interesting one because it's so beautiful and weird. And uh, each each part of that as they go deeper, in it, see if you can find a video on it because it's pretty badass. Mandelbrot set fractal demonstration. Um, I know it's on YouTube, but that these these patterns if the universe really is a part of an atom that's in a being right or a part of a cell that's in a being that exists in a, and you know the idea of infinity too right we think of the universe as being massive it's 14 billion like that's not infinite right it's not even close right 14 billion years is like nothing. no it's, it's not infinite no um, at all um so this is the mandelbrot set right oh cool <clears throat> and so what these artists have done is as they zoom oh, in, yeah. the Mandelbrot set repeats itself over and over and over and over again. And it just, it becomes the same exact thing at the, the lowest possible levels of, uh, of, of comprehension or, or of illustration. They keep getting closer and closer to it. That's <clears throat> amazing. That's yeah. cool. And I needed that. I was a math major in college. And I learned about fractals, but they didn't have videos back then. Right. I needed this video to see Well, this, this would blow you away, right? Because yeah. it shows it to you that in a way that appeals to the brain. Right. And it's it's so hard for us to comprehend or to, right. to, to try to illustrate it ourselves. This is the kind of shit that you see when you're on psychedelic drugs, too. <laughs> this is another reason why it makes me weird. This is a mushroom. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you go on a super trip, yeah. like a real trip where you can't come back for four or five hours, this is the kind of shit that you'll see. And it makes you wonder, like, you know, are you looking at the the very fabric of the cosmos itself? So I think there's a theory, string theory is kind of popular for small stuff, how, what electrons are made out of in, in the smallest subatomic level. And <clears> if I remember right, 10 to the minus 33rd meters, which is pretty small, but that, I think that's as small as you can get. Like there's a, there's a, there is a smallest particle. You can't just keep on going infinitely smaller, just mm -hmm. like you can't go infinitely bigger because the universe is only so big. So there, it is bounded. It, that can't happen forever. Um, which is, allegedly. which is pretty well, allegedly, but who, you know, <laughs> right. But you know, 10 years from now, everything we think we know is going to be disproven. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free, only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips easily seamlessly switch between video and audio experience on spotify you can listen to the jre in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free spotify is absolutely free you don't have to have a premium account to watch new jre episodes you just need to search for the jre on your spotify app go to spotify now to get this full episode of the joe rogan experience